White supremacy is an ideological construct that believes that whiteness is superior to non-whiteness. So then how this shows up in part is it shows up in curriculum, right? Uh, I'm a seminary professor, and in theological education, it's, it's, you're hard-pressed to find many evangelical institutions that have a regular requirement of black and brown authors. And often what happens is whiteness becomes the standard by which all good theology is judged. You understand what I'm saying? Amen. So that if it's right theology, it's written by a white scholar who is contextualizing that theology for white audiences. And so one of the things we see is, and hear this very, very carefully, there's racism by intent and there's racism by consequence. You can have racism operating in a context where it is there are no individual racists. And that, in part, is the way in which white supremacy works in a socially sophisticated way. When you have whiteness as the priority, and when folks work and operate in such a way with curriculum, with economics, or with policies to maintain and to posture and to privilege that whiteness, and then to require those who are non-white to, cultural, to culturally colonize to whiteness... So then we think about reconciliation and ethnic hostility. The solution is not more black and brown faces in white spaces who colonize to whiteness. The solution is fundamentally, yes, the gospel, the cross, the resurrection, right? The blood of Jesus, but also dethroning white supremacy in all of the forms in which it shows up in Christian spaces, folks. Because when Jesus died to disarm those principalities and powers, one of those principalities and powers, I would argue, is white supremacy and all that it entails. So, so feel that tonight. White supremacy is not just violence or KKK or lynchings. It is also the belief, directly or indirectly, that whiteness is rightness. And everything has to be judged by that.